vitreous hemorrhage, why did it happen? In this case, we're going to go through a patient who presented with a sudden loss of vision in their right eye, and we're going to talk about the history, the examination findings, and what to do next. So let's take a look at the slit lamp examination. So this is a patient who's phakic. The ocular surface maybe looks slightly on the dry side. But when we look into the anterior vitreous, we can see these red blood cells. And the reason that we know that they're red blood cells rather than being pigment or a Schaefer's positive sign is look how small they are, look how fine they are, look how mobile they are. And I think how in a Schaefer sign, you'd expect them to be more orange, deeply pigmented and larger. Whereas here, they are just so fine and mobile. The next thing we're going to do is having a look in the fundus. We've got somewhat of a fundal view, but it is very hazy. We can see that there are what looks like scars from panretinal photocoagulation. And really the history is key. You, know, you need to ask the patient, are you a diabetic? How is your diabetic control? What has your previous treatment been for your diabetic eye disease? If you can't see the fundus at all, you can't confidently tell yourself that the retina is flat, there you go, that's a fresh hemorrhage. If you can't tell yourself that you can have any fundal view, you need to consider a B scan. Let's have a look at the other eye. That can give you a lot of clues as well, especially if you have no fundal view. If you see lots of diabetic eye disease in the other eye, that can indicate the cause being diabetic in origin. So fake it, but in this eye, significantly much more so posterior subcapsular cataracts than in the other eye. The vision isn't affected in this eye, so we expect a much better fundal view, although there is quite a lot of cataract. Okay, so yes, there is a much clearer fundal view, but we can see evidence of diabetic eye disease and retinal hemorrhages here. The main thing that I want to tell you is this is a mistake that happens often, and you hear about it all the time, and this is where patients come to harm, is that if you have a patient with sudden loss of vision and a vitreous hemorrhage, just because they're diabetic, don't put the cause of their reduced vision down to diabetic eye disease or a diabetic vitreous hemorrhage. Studies show that if a patient has a B scan and it doesn't show a detachment, there is still a significant chance of them having a retinal tear. So if you have a fundus obscuring vitreous hemorrhage and you aren't certain that the cause is diabetes, you need to refer them to the vitreoretinal team and they often require an early vitrectomy to exclude a retinal tear because that can be sight threatening. 